Recently, we spoke to an American friend telling us that there are rarely field hockey clubhouses in the USA. Say what? On top of that, apparently, there's just one club with a water-based turf, and most hockey clubs in the US don't even have a grass pitch or a water pitch. Well, let me tell you something about the Dutch field hockey culture and its infrastructure. I think there's not one club in the Netherlands without a clubhouse. Secondly, we have field hockey stadiums here and weekly tournaments during the summer. What we've heard from our American friend is that boys don't play. Whoa, how can that even be fun? fun. This video will describe the unique Dutch hockey culture and explain why we're the best in the world. The Netherlands has 255,000 field hockey players spread over 309 hockey clubs in 12 different provinces. All those provinces are reachable by car within a two and a half hour ride. You can become a member of the Dutch Hockey Association by joining a club as of the age of six. Because of the amount of members and teams, many games, tournaments and competitions can be played around the country the whole year. Dutch hockey players are divided in juniors, seniors and veterans. We have six categories when looking at the juniors. The youngest juniors are called F players and are six or seven years old. The oldest juniors are A teams who are 16 to 18 years old. Within the teams, the numbers represent the level of the team. For instance, A1 is the best team of a category and plays the strongest competition. The best teams mostly play a nationwide competition, whereas the lower teams play within the province. We heard that in the States, when you graduate from high school, you may not even have a team in college. And when you graduate from college, you're basically forced to retire because there are essentially no opportunities to play other than a really casual league that have zero practices. Just wow. Please come to the Netherlands soon because everyone older than 18 years can play in a senior team. We call the senior teams men and women. Again, the numbers represent their level. The last category are the veterans and they're older than 35 years old. The Dutch field hockey is well known for their top competitions, especially the Hoofdsklasse competition. Lots of top international players have played here. It's the most prestigious field hockey competition in the world. Every player over the entire world wants to have played in this Dutch competition. Playing hockey in the Netherlands is just one part of the whole culture. Because of our big clubhouses, there's always something going on. The matches of the leagues are always in the weekends. Saturdays for the juniors and Sundays for the seniors and veterans. Our clubs are very social. Many families can be found at the clubs the whole weekend, watching and coaching their children on Saturdays and playing themselves on Sundays. It is also very normal to be a volunteer at your hockey club or be a coach or trainer. For instance, by doing a bar shift at the clubhouse. This is why most clubhouses are open every evening during the week at training sessions and on the weekends the whole day. Our clubs are where we meet our best friends. This is also the reason why many children just stay and hang out at hockey clubs without having training sessions. Also, we look forward to the parties at the hockey club. They are loved by teenagers and adults alike. Even players from other sports oftentimes try and enter our field hockey parties illegally. Another amazing unique aspect of the Dutch hockey culture is that obtaining a referee's diploma is mandatory for every hockey player as of a certain age. Because of the immense amount of matches every weekend, the matches are led by a referee that is for instance a player a few years older than the athletes playing. Needless to say, the top teams and national regional leagues have their own professional referees. This is just one of the reasons why we know the game so well. Another reason is that we play lots and lots of hockey. It's normal to play several days a week with a trained trainer and play one match in the weekend with a trained coach. But also the hockey season is very long. A season starts with preparation in August and the competition begins in September and ends towards the end of November. Then we hit a winter break. Some teams play an indoor competition, and others just enjoy a break. After winter is over, the second half of the season starts with the preparation in February, and the competition continues in March. At the end of June, most competitions end, except for some of the top teams that play end-of-season playoffs. Top teams never have a longer holiday than two weeks, because they start very early in the summer with preparations for the next season. So you can probably imagine that playing in the Netherlands with so many players, top trainers and referees, has a positive impact on the level we play here. And it all starts at a very, very young age. All these things probably explain why the Netherlands has become so well known in their field hockey quality and have been on the top of the world field hockey ranking list for such a long time. 
We also have very well-known high-level international summer camps. For instance, in Amsterdam, imagine 100 young international hockey players, boys and girls combined, playing hockey together over seven days and nights. The social life and experience at these camps can be just as important as the hockey. The camp staff are awesome hockey players from around the world, including Dutch international players who give you personal feedback during two or three training sessions a day, plus games, party and fun all week long. Interested in going to such an amazing hockey experience in the Netherlands? Check out www.sportseurotour.com. To conclude with a funny fun fact. A recent Dutch article condemned the massive use of water-based turfs because of the immense amount of often drink water used to humidify the turfs. In the Netherlands, 1.8 billion liters of water per year is used to play hockey. But hey, maybe that's what makes us the best in the world. This was our video about the Dutch field hockey culture. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wish to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you for watching.